Have you been annoyed by people with loud footsteps? I have the experience while I was working, working out at, at the gym during a quiet time. There's a lady, there is this lady who really have very loud footsteps. What she'll do is that she'll get on the treadmill and literally bang, 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 bang on the treadmill. The sound is very loud and it can be heard throughout the entire mach- cardio machine area. Sometimes when I see her going towards the treadmill, I, what I will do is I will just move on to the wakes area, hoping that by the time I come back, she won't be there. But often that, that is not the case because she usually spends quite a long time running on the treadmill. It's very loud. And sometimes this sound does get to us. So why is it that some people walk or run with loud footsteps compared to others? Okay, this is not um, something that I discovered on my own, but it is an observation that someone told me. Perhaps you can just consider this with an open mind. I have been told that people who walk with a loud footstep have high ego. I'm not sure whether it's 100% true or not. But in cases that I've observed, I do find that um, these people have problem in terms of lightening up. It is as though that their life is weighed by so much of burden and responsibility that even their footsteps sounded heavy. And it is not healthy to actually walk or run with loud footsteps. Because if let's say people who walk or run with a loud touch are often landing at the wrong angle. And in the wrong ru- long run, it's going to cause injury either to the ankle, to the bones, to the knees, or to the hip, or even to the backbone. It could be a structural imbalance as well that caused the person to land on the wrong angle. So when one is young, one may not see the problem, but when age catches up, all this problem, the pain will start coming. So my suggestion is that what we can do if If let's say you are the person who walk or run with a loud footstep, what you can do to help yourself is change. Try to be more conscious when you are walking or running. When we change internally to be more caring and less stressed up, then we we may relax a little and become more conscious as well as the loud sound that we are producing with our movement and make a conscious effort to reduce it. This is also done for consideration for others as much as for our own health. So if let's say if we curb a lifelong reflex of, uh, of automatically running, um, of automatically moving or stepping loudly, and try to replace this with slower and deliberate, softer steps, we will slowly, slowly calm down. And when we, as we, as we are also making effort to focus on walking properly, we may not have time to be preoccupied with so many other things or negative things that is troubling us. So in the process, this may also help to slow our mind down. And when it slows down, our things become clearer. The problems also don't become that big or overwhelming. 
Louise Hay did mention in one of her books that by changing her handwriting, she was able to change her personality. So why not? If we do walk or run with loud footsteps and we look into changing the way we walk, we may be able to change our inner self as well. <laughs>